Okay, I just just now took a exacting white balance setting of the existing light at my um technically you should do it ambiently with what's actually Yeah. So I'm going to I'm going to do a white balance setting of the light that's actually falling on the subject, okay? So there's there's like three different four different kinds of light I'll hit in this thing, so Instead of just setting it up, it's actually reading what's what's in there, okay? And I'm going to set my base exposure. Uh, actually, I kind of wish I had my three-way head. Can you hand me my uh, cable release, please? Okay, so obviously I'm going to take seven shots. They all have to be tripod mounted because they can't you can't move because they all have to register the same because you're blending them, right? And I'm going to do a base exposure to see if I'm good. That looks about right, doesn't it? Yeah. Right to dark, okay, mm -hmm. get rid of that one. I'm gonna set my um, bracket setting to seven stops. I'm crooked. Okay, here we go. Okay, just took seven pictures. I can go nine on this camera, but they're all one stop. Nine stops is overkill. I don't think so. Yeah, it just it, the two or the two on the edges are useless. Yeah, 103. That's how like every different, sh I just use my folders in my camera. That's how I keep them all straight. But Mark, I would say that a HDR is a, is a thing for a very, a very nice house or a very nice uh, feature of the house. If the house has a specific feature, like a really nice kitchen, is screaming for HDR. Mm -hmm. Because of the lighting in, the, in it and also being able to see outdoors without that flashy look. And, and especially if you have lights hanging down, those bulbs are really bright. Right. Yeah. That's the thing is 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 not just so sometimes it's not just sun sunshine blowing through the windows. It's tungsten illumination lights. Just sometimes they just they burn out. Uh, there's and another another one that I just thought of. Uh, good for HDR. It's not going to happen very often. Sherry was talking to one of Jeff's clients uh, about doing a light shoot and mm -hmm. some other stuff. He's apparently in his basement. He's got a really nice rec room with neon lights, okay. and he wants to turn on all the neon and get a shot with that. Mm. You can't do it with flash. Right. You can't do it with ambient. Right. HDR is the only way. It's not a twilight situation, yeah. No. Right. It's the only a, way to be able to get go. those neons so they're not totally blown out. Right. Okay, we have a result. And everything else. That's what that, that's just Okay, there's a nominal. Here, let's turn this a little bit for him. God dang, this is a big laptop you got here. That's that's standard. Now look, you'll notice um, that is a little hot, but it's acceptable. It has it has the warmth of or the glow of a nice warm light. You can see out the window. You can see out the window, and you can yeah, see this. this yeah, you can see the subtleties of the light and all up in here. See, no, like that, that's dark. In real life, that's dark. I mean, when you're when the mind's eye sees it, oh yeah, you know, I can I can your your mind's eye adjusts, but the camera. So you just made the you just made the camera able to capture a huge range of light, blend it all together. 
it looks great. Right. That, that's looking more like a... So you feel better about Photomatics now? It's just bang, 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 do the defaults, it's acceptable? Play with it a little bit, maybe bring that up in Photoshop, see what that does, you know, the highlight and shadow, whatever, sharpen it.